Hi, my name is Christopher Hart. I'm a cartoonist and author of many books on drawing cartoons. Thank you for joining me. And uh, here's one of the ones I have done, which is called Cartoon Faces. It shows you all sorts of character design tricks for drawing interesting, appealing, crazy, humorous characters. All right, so I have a character I'd like to show you how to draw. I'm going to use the techniques from this book. Not, this character is an original, not even in this book. A new one you're going to see now. But I think you'd like to see it. Because uh, it's got some, some things I think you can learn from. So we're going to start as a female character, and she's going to be facing us at a three-quarter view, which means she's facing slightly to the right. She's going to have a wide face. Here's the chin, right here. And she's facing slightly to the right. Not a whole lot to the right. And we have her eyes just under the halfway point of the head. Halfway from up and down, she's halfway there. And we will have her looking kind of back at us. So her chin is going to come off. Let's do this this way. Yeah, we'll make some adjustments as we go, like so. And her jaw comes up here. See, as we, before we even start we, start, we're starting to arrange and model the outside. That's the most important thing. Once you have the whole head working for you, the features are the easiest parts. It, it may sound counterintuitive, but it's true. Most people don't put any, any effort into the shape of the head, but that's what we're going to do today. Okay, so we'll also put the ear right here, right on the eye line, and an earring over here. Here's the jaw. Jaw's got to come up. Can't just stay this one shape. Has to come up and invade here. And to do that, we'll bring that neck up here. So it all comes up into the jaw right there. Now another way we, we will um, change the shape of the head is with the hair. That's actually a part of the head shape. The hair gives you the head shape. So right now, we're going to bring this down here, so flatten out the side. And here's the cheekbone right here. So we're going to extend that a little bit and taper it in. So you see, it's already taking on a different kind of look. I'm going to get a little more mass to the back of the head. And I'm going to bring the hair up like this. Here's the bangs. And we'll do this all over again with a marker in a minute. We'll bring the top of the head over here back and bring it, slide it right back down into the head. So it would almost go into the jaw if you could. Kind of brush this hair back. And here's going to be a ponytail. It's all very light. We can change it as we like. Strand here and strand back here, and now we can do the features. Remember what I said? Now it's the time to do the features. Okay, so first, let's get that nose going. That's the center of the face. And the center is a little this way because it's a three-quarter view. So, just a light, kind of upturned nose, like that. Start with the mouth over here. Get the thickness of that upper lip. And we give an th even thicker lower lip. Have that come down here. See this come and touch this little crease right here, but it stops short and the upper lip goes over here like an overbite. See how this stops short under this part? It's a nice look to do that. Let's get rid of some of these squiggles and bring this chin down like so. Okay, now we have the eyes. So we're going to tilt the eyes. So up slightly at the ends. You notice that the tear duct is lower than the, than the other side. Right here, the tear duct is lower than the top side. We're almost ready for the uh, to finish it up. A little crease here. And a nice arching eyebrow on either side. Okay, now that we have that, we know where we are, we know what we're doing. 
we can go in and put the rest to work. And let's give it a try. See, all these guidelines will come into play. Now, I'll start with the nose just because it's the center of our universe here. It's the anchor for the face. When you draw the lips, it's a good idea to start with the, the center line where the two lips meet rather than try to you know, work the top one then work the bottom one. This way, already you have them both placed where you want them. And now a nice thick upper eyelid. And the other side. And you notice that the eyeball is touching right under the top eyelid here. It's touching on the other one too. It doesn't just sit there, you know, hanging in the middle of, of emptiness. If it does, it'll make it look like she's staring and you don't want that. And another one or two lashes floating up. A little crease for the eyelid. A little thicker in the middle, a little thicker in the middle. Still a nice big arch. And let's see if we can make this rounded off, nice and gentle. I want that to have a gentler look. I'm going to move this for a moment. And there we go. Here's the ear, and not too much detail on that, just a little bit. Put that ear and make it black so it sort of like mirrors the eyes. It's a strand or two. Like so. And now put the bangs in. Nice and brushy. Nice and easily. Not too much definition, just a little bit. And again, I have to move that a little bit. Oversized, which is kind of funny, and also has a style to it. Just give it a little crew neck. And there you go, there is uh, an idea for uh, character design, some hints. You can learn a lot about that in my book, Cartoon Faces. I hope you take a look at it. But most of all, I do hope you subscribe. I have new videos every Monday. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you then. Bye-bye.